Recently, I switched from using Visual Studio to Visual Studio Code, so I want to share my experience with you from the perspective of a Unity developer. I will talk about the differences between those two pieces of software, about their pros and cons, so by the end of this video you should know which one is the right for you. Let's start with some of the basic information, so Visual Studio is what you are probably already using with Unity. It comes in three versions, the first one is the Community, which is the free, and then there are those two paid versions, and Visual Studio Code is just a totally different piece of software. So both Visual Studio Community and Visual Studio Code are free and they are developed by Microsoft. Visual Studio Code is a text editor, so it is really suited just for writing code, editing it and debugging. Whereas Visual Studio is full IDE, so it can be used for project development and some other advanced stuff. Both of them can be simply integrated with Unity and support multiple languages. Let's now talk about performance, which is one of the main reasons why I chose to use Visual Studio Code. On the screen you can see the specifications of my computer, so I definitely don't have the most powerful, but it's also not that weak. In Unity, let's try to open some script using Visual Studio and you will see how long it is taking it to load. So on my machine, Visual Studio takes over 20 seconds to just load the one script. In total it takes it about 45 seconds to load all of the assemblies and the related code. This may not seem like much if you are already used to using Visual Studio, but let's try to open the same script using Visual Studio Code and you will see how much faster it is. It took it about 2.5 seconds. And to load all of the assemblies, it took about 20 seconds, which makes sense because still we need to load all of it. But in only those 2 seconds, I'm in the script where I want to be, I can start reading through the code or adding some code. So to load Visual Studio Code, it takes about 10 times less than Open Visual Studio, which can really save you a lot of time. Let's say that you are opening Visual Studio 50 times a day, which is quite realistic. In that case, using Visual Studio Code, you would save about 17 minutes of time, which is quite a lot. Another thing that takes quite a lot of time to load in Visual Studio is when you go into some definition. So in Visual Studio Code, let's try to go into the definition of the try get component function. And you can see this pretty much instant, it takes it like one second. And now if we try the same with Visual Studio, we first obviously have to open it, so wait 20 seconds. Obviously, as I have already opened Visual Studio once, now it is much faster, but still it is taking much longer than the Visual Studio code. And if we try to go into the definition of try get component, you can see it's taking quite a lot of time. I have measured about 5 seconds. I know that these are pretty small differences, just a few seconds here and there, but if you are using Visual Studio for the whole day, for all of the work you do, then it makes really a big difference. Let's take a look at the drive space that both of these programs are using. As Visual Studio is much more lightweight, it takes less than 1GB, which is pretty amazing. The base program actually takes only 400 megabytes, and then as you download more extensions, it's going to take up more. Visual Studio, on the other hand, can take up anywhere from 5 to 40 gigabytes because it's going to depend on the extensions and the packages that you need. If you are using Visual Studio for Unity development, then it will take up about 7 gigabytes of space. Let's also talk about RAM usage. Many people online were saying that Visual Studio Code takes about, I don't know, 200 megabytes, but for me, for some reason, it takes 700 megabytes of RAM, so that is not that much. Visual Studio takes pretty much similarly about 800 megabytes. As we have discussed the performance, which was the main deal breaker for me, let's now talk about the pros and cons of Visual Studio Code. Just by looking at it, you can see that the design is much more clear. There are no additional buttons, no additional text that you don't really need. Overall, the UI is highly customizable, so I have even hidden some things that I don't really need and kept only the essentials, the windows that I will use. And similarly to Visual Studio, there are many settings that you can change. You can really make it work however you want. There are also many extensions that you can choose from, so you can only include the extensions you really need and don't include anything else. And the main advantage that I've already been talking about is just that Visual Studio Code is much faster and it allows you to iterate faster as well. And some disadvantages of the Visual Studio Code, the only one that I can probably think about is that it takes longer to set up, but this is only true if you have before used some other text editor, other code editor, and you now want to use Visual Studio Code the same way. So for me it took about one hour to fine tune all of these settings to make it work really how I'm used to, which is using Visual Studio. Still, I think it is really worth it to be using Visual Studio Code, even though you need to do some of the additional setup, because then it's going to save you much time later. 
If you don't know yet which one of these code editors or IDEs you should choose, then I suggest that you use Visual Studio Code when iteration speed is important and you don't want to be waiting all the time, and also if you plan to be using it for writing code, so for Unity and so on. In that case, Visual Studio Code has all of the features that you need, I didn't find even one single feature missing. And when should you use Visual Studio? Well, you should use it when you really need all of the features, even the advanced features for project development. Because that is what Visual Studio is for, it is for full project development. Visual Studio Code is for writing code, editing it and debugging. So in case that you are writing code for Unity, you most likely won't need to use Visual Studio. So this is my experience with Visual Studio Code. If you have other opinion on this topic or you suggest that no one should use Visual Studio Code, that is fine, just let me know down in the comments. I would be also interested if you found any features missing in Visual Studio Code, because personally I didn't. I hope that this video was useful and that I helped you to decide whether you should use Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code. And if you are considering supporting me, I have enabled memberships here on YouTube, so feel free to check it out. If you become a member, you will gain access to the videos about two days before they are out. You will also gain access to some of the extra supporter videos and so on, so check it out. Anyways, I hope that this video was useful. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in next videos. Bye!